Hi guys, so what are the disadvantages of studying in China? I'm going to go through most of the disadvantages of studying in China and tell you why you should not apply to study in China. So what are the reasons you shouldn't study in China? Firstly, it is a very different culture and it's a very different country to many people around the world. So if you don't want to go to a new culture and experience a completely different life, it's probably not a good idea to come to China because you're going to have many different experiences. It's going to be completely different to everything you've ever known in your life, especially if you come from a country like UK or America or Europe and you've never been to Asia. And if you don't want to have those kind of experiences, then you probably shouldn't study in China. Studying in China is not for everyone and it's only for students who are really willing to study in China. It's really important that if you want to study in China that you have an open mind because when you study abroad, you're going to have new experiences. You're going to experience like many different things. So if you want to make the most out of studying in China, you need to have that open mind. Another disadvantage of studying in China is that you might become homesick. Many students might experience homesickness. I have to say that I have experienced some form of homesickness because I'm not from China and I do miss family and I miss people that I know when I was younger and also I miss just the lifestyle and culture in UK and in London. Especially during the pandemic, I'm not able to go back to UK. I really enjoy just the lifestyle and the things in, in UK. If you don't want to be homesick, then it's a good idea not to study in another country. But I am willing to have some sacrifices in order to study in China, so that's why I don't mind about that. Because I think that it's worth it to have new experiences and new opportunities. In every decision you have positives and negatives, and you have to accept the negatives. Um, the third disadvantage of studying in China may be the food. So some people may not be used to the food, but actually I find this hard to believe because I think that so many people when they come to China, they actually realize that Chinese food is not what you expect. China has so many different types of Chinese food from so many different regions. And actually this is not really a disadvantage because it's actually an advantage because Chinese food is absolutely amazing in China. And there's so many different types of food. And even if you don't like Chinese food, which I think is hard to imagine, there are lots and lots of Western restaurants from different countries around the world. Actually, China is very international, so you can just choose another different type of restaurant. So my favorite Chinese food is Wuhan Rogamian, which is Wuhan noodles, which is amazing. So if you have the opportunity, then check it out, Wuhan noodles. And then another thing, a disadvantage of studying in China is that it costs money to study in China. You need to make sure that you are aware of the costs of studying in China. It, the good news is actually it's not that expensive. There are many affordable options when you study in China, so it doesn't need to be too expensive. And there are some scholarships and there are also some low cost affordable universities in China. So if you are interested in an affordable university, check out the video here, which gives the information about low cost universities in China. And another thing in China is the educational difference. Many people think that if you're going to study in China, what is the quality of the education going to be like? Like, is it going to be good? Is it going to be as good as UK or is it going to be as good as America or Australia? This is like uh, something that some people are concerned about. And I can tell you that the quality of education in China does vary. Like in every country, there are good universities and there are universities that are not as good. But I can tell you that uh, there are some amazing world-class universities in China that are in the top 10 worldwide and Chinese universities are getting very good are rising very quickly up the league tables so if you apply to one of these top universities you're gonna have a really good education and the quality of the education can be amazing it could even be much better than what you expect and also you need to remember that part of education is not just what you're learning in the classroom but it's also the environment and the people that you're going to be surrounded with if you're concerned about the education quality is to choose a top university that's going to be surrounded by top people and then you're going to have a great experience. Another disadvantage of studying in China is that it's moving very fast and the pace of life in China is very fast. So if you want to relax, I don't know if China is the best place because it's moving so fast and there's so many things going on that when you study in China, you want to be able to just get out there and just do many things because so many things are going on and the pace in China is going so fast. So there's so many things you can do, so many opportunities. So if you don't want to be challenged, if you don't want to grow, then maybe you don't want to go to China. 
But having said that, there are some really, really beautiful, relaxing places that you can study in. And there are some amazing, beautiful campuses. You can check out this video here, which has the link of the most beautiful campuses in China. So actually, there are some beautiful places that you can study and you can have a relaxing time in some way. But at the same time, there are like 1.3 billion people. If you come from a small town in another country, then China is going to be more fast than where you're from. So you need to be aware of that. So these are some disadvantages of studying in China as you can probably see I think there are many more advantages to studying in China than disadvantages but it's not perfect for everyone I think some people shouldn't necessarily study in China they might not be perfectly well suited if you think that it's not a great idea to study in China you might want to seriously carefully consider the different options and you can also choose to study on a short-term program before you decide for a longer-term program also I suggest that you can talk to many different people about the experiences in China you can read different articles and you can also check out some of the videos about students on our blog to get more experiences from students so you can also register to have a consultation with us and we can give you some advice about where to study. So I hope this can be helpful for you and help you to decide whether or not you should study in China.